with momentum gaining around the world in support of young Alfie Evans' life. His father Tom came to the Vatican today to ask the Pope for help and to update him on his son's legal and medical situation. Before the general audience, the Pope met with Tom Evans for 20 minutes. He's the father of Alfie, the 23-month-old baby in England with an incurable degenerative disease. A few days ago, the British justice system rejected the appeal Tom and his wife made to transfer their baby to the Vatican's Bambino Gesù Hospital. English doctors say there is no cure and want to disconnect the devices that keep him alive. Um, I want to thank you so much for letting me be here today and have the opportunity to come with you today to share the suffering that me and my family are going through. Thank you for the most kind of speech that I'll be today. Pope Francis gave them three rosaries, one for Tom, one for his wife, and the other for their son. At the end, the Pope closed with these words. Later, in the general audience, the Pope asked for prayers for Alfie and Vincent Lambert, whose case has become a symbol of the fight against euthanasia in France. Vorrei rivadire e fortemente confirmare che l'unico padrone della vita dall'inizio alla fine naturale è Dio. E il nostro dovere e il nostro dovere è fare del tutto per custodire la vita. The Pope made this appeal at the end of the weekly audience. He also asked everyone to pray for a few moments in silence for a respect for life. Pensiamo in silenzio e preghiamo perché sia rispettata la vita di tutte le persone, specialmente di questi due fratelli nostri. Preghiamo in silenzio. It's not the first time that Pope Francis has publicly supported Alfie Evans' parents. He first did so on Twitter, later during the Regina Chaley prayer on Sunday, and finally during the general audience. Thus the world is anxiously waiting to see if Pope Francis' words have an effect on the decision makers for this case in England. At the Vatican, Melissa Butts, Currents News. Back to you in New York, Liz.